All right, so Comic Con, Anime Expo, pretty much the last two weeks are pretty much over. So um, now would be a good time to show off what I bought for the last two weeks. So I'm going to start off by showing off the stuff I bought at Anime Expo first. So there you go. Stuff I bought at Anime Expo, I'm going to start off right here. The, of course, this is Nendoroid Kirishima, number 495 of the whole entire Nendoroid um, franchise order. Here is one, the first exclusive I bought at Anime Expo. Not like not a true exclusive, but like an early uh, purchase. This is the number 515 Nendoroid Fight Club Mako Mankan Shonko from, you know, greatest, one of the, I would, for, to me, one of the greatest anime series out there, Kill a Kill. Uh, figure it's Tuxedo Mass, uh, bottom of Bluefin, because, um, you know, I'd rather buy it there than, say, Comic-Con a week after. And one of the other good things I bought from the Good Smile booth, besides the exclusive Nendoroid Mako, are these two Kill a Kill art books. I, this one's Ryoko, Ryoko, and the other one is uh, Satsuki. So here are all my uh, stuff I bought from Anime Expo this year. So let's go on and show off the stuff I bought at Comic-Con. Alright, so here is the stuff I bought at Comic-Con just recently. So let's go ahead and go one by one with each one. Let's start off right here. This is the Funko Pop uh, um, vinyl figure of Conan. Um, I went to watch Conan O'Brien Friday with the uh, cast of The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. And for every audience member, got one of these uh, zombie Conan Funko Pop figures. I was told they were going as high as between 60 60 to like almost $200 a piece. Uh, I'm not a big fan of um, vinyl pop figures, uh, vinyl figure Funko Pop stuff. I will be keeping this. Next is Kirishima. And with this purchase, I have now all four Congo sisters from Kankole. I just recently purchased, uh, actually, I purchased Hiei and Congo. A while back uh, from uh, Anime Kanji, uh, actually from Honda Doki Con. So I now have all four Congo sisters from Kankoli. And if you're wondering uh, how I got into Kankoli, it was pretty much the anime uh, got me into it. I've known about the browser game uh, beforehand, but I think the anime was what got me in. Next is the uh, two G.I. Joe sets. Let's start with this one. This is the uh, Duel in the Desert set. This was uh, from the Entertainment Earth booth. Uh, this is somewhat of an exclusive, but it will be released at Toys R Us sometime later on in the year. The one on the bottom, the bigger one, is the Desert, uh, is actually the Crimson Strike set. It is actually a remold and a repaint. You will actually get in this set um, a, a red Sky Striker, a Cobra Str Sky Striker, and a green G.I. Joe His Tank, and with two figures for each vehicle. This is one of the two, one of the two most sought-out exclusives from Hasbro this year. That eventually got sold out. I think Saturday. Uh, these are the Star Wars uh, Black Edition, Black Series. <coughs> excuse me, Black Series um, Force Awakens Stormtroopers. And these figures were pretty much um, sought after. Uh, they limit two, and I was lucky. I got all my Hasbro exclusives this year for the very first time on preview night. And of course, the big boy right here, Devastator. Uh, when I first saw this, I had to get him. I know um, it didn't sell on Con, which was a surprise to me because I believe um, people are going to be going after the general retail version or even the, the, the Takar version, which will be released later on this year. But I had to have him. I already pre-ordered all the um, all the upgrade pieces from Perfect Effect off of Big Bad Toy Store. And thankfully, they should be in the same uh, same um, shade of uh, lime green, so it'll match well. The only pieces you, you will get off these um, off of the uh, the only metallic pieces are just the chest and Mixmaster's um, cement mixing drum. So that's all of the Comic Con exclusives, or pretty much Comic Con stuff I bought. So let's kind of backtrack it for a bit. I'll show you also my autographs that I got this year at Anime Expo. Uh, before I do that, actually, I forgot to purchase one other thing. This is the 
Capcom Fighting Tribute book. This is actually a, another Comic-Con exclusive I've bought from Udon. Uh, I bought this because I'm a huge fan of the Capcom Beat-em-up games, Final, uh, Final Fight and Captain Commando, which is part of this book. So I had to get this uh, Comic-Con um, exclusive. Supposedly 100 were sold at the show, but uh, uh, were available for the show unless you pre-ordered it. So here's another one. Now to the autographs. Okay, so I have two Kill a Kill art books also, and these are like the sketchbooks. This is Volume One, Volume Two. I actually got Volume Two signed first. I actually went to Imaishi and uh, I think what's the name Yoshinori's autograph session not once but twice. So I'm gonna start with Volume Two because this is the first one I actually had signed, and this is really cute. He drew Ma uh, Imaishi drew Mako uh, with a DTR. And Yoshinori drew, uh, what is it, Susi from Little Wish Academia, which was pretty cool. Alright, so here's volume one, and I had this over a year now. And originally I wanted to have this sign at Anime Expo 2014 last year with the uh, whole entire Kill a Kill cast and crew, but unfortunately I could not go. And when I heard that Imaishi, Imaishi wasn't there uh, last year also because he was working on the last, last episode of Kill a Kill. You know, I think it was worth the wait because this time both of them did Mako of their own rendition. Here's the um, Imaishi's and here's um, Yoshinori's. I like this one. This was really cool. When I just, oh man, this is so awesome! It was worth the wait. So that's all my autographs, my swag, my goods from both Anime Expo and Comic Con.